Worrying is simply a misuse of our imagination, a way to conjure an illusion of a future we do not wish for. The present is all we have as the future is uncertain and the past has already occurred. Overfocusing on the future deprives us of the joy and beauty of the current moment, much like being overly anxious to reach our destination and forgetting to enjoy the whole journey. Worry is futile. It creates a barrier between us and the blessings of the universe by freeing ourselves from worry. We open ourselves up to endless possibilities and the subtle vibrations of the cosmos. Our thoughts and emotions impact not only ourselves, but also the world around us. Worry is a form of resistance that attracts negative outcomes when you focus on what happens around you, allowing others' emotions and behaviors to define your vibe. You may find yourself unprepared to stay true to your essence. Letting others dictate your vibrational state is a choice, but it's vital to recognize that no one can destabilize your vibration without your permission. If you've practiced being at peace, then minor disturbances won't shake you. There is beauty in interacting with someone out of sync without it shaking your core. You have transcended at the stage of blaming others for your feelings, staying focused on solutions. Nothing is more invigorating than tackling a problem when you are aligned. Problems become less daunting because you know that in alignment, everything adjusts easily. The first step is always to take responsibility for what happens in your experience. It's about recognizing that emotions are the initial manifestations to heed if your initial emotion in face of challenges is of solidity and clarity. You maintain your stance no matter what happens, otherwise you simply navigate the situation knowing you are casting wishes for a more stable life experience. You decide that today you will feel good, aware that life goes on, and people around you will make choices that may not please you. It's not that they are against you. It's just that sometimes when you misalign with your well-being, it seems like there is a contrary force, but there never is. It's always about being in the mode of receiving natural manifestations to your being. Realizing that you don't need to control the circumstances around you to feel good is a tremendous relief. It's freeing yourself from the impossible task of controlling the uncontrollable. You will encounter complicated situations, but you'll understand that you're just doing your part in the process, desiring more fervently a stable life. If you have decided that you will feel good today, even knowing that events and decisions of others may challenge you, remember, people are not against you. Even if you feel discomfort at times, there is no force working against you. It's about being open to receiving manifestations that are natural to you. Recognizing that you don't need to control events around you to influence how you feel is liberating. It means resting from the impossible task of managing the uncontrollable. You can expect to find yourself from time to time amid chaos, surrounded by complicated vibrational situations. However, instead of feeling the previous tension, you will understand that you are taking a crucial and perfect step. Desiring more intensely for a balanced life experience when faced with chaos, you will cast wishes for improvements expanding your vibrational reality. Your essence is always ready, and with every moment of challenge you are actually expanding and aligning more with your true desires. Understanding that you have the energy of the source flowing with you aware of where you are at every moment is revolutionary. Your inner being has already bridged the gap between your desires and your beliefs. Maintaining a belief contrary to your desire will only bring negative emotions. It's wonderful to walk through the day encountering situations that are remnants of past energies, recognizing the unwanted and knowing that despite this, you are expanding and launching new desires for an even richer and fuller. Experience every moment of discomfort or challenge is a reminder of your power to expand and align your inner being. Knows exactly how to guide you from where you are to everything you desire, considering all you have lived as you embrace each experience, casting wishes for a richer life. Your vibrational reality expands, and your inner being is more engaged than ever in helping you realize your desires. 
it is crucial to recognize yourself as a human being who is at the same time so much more. Your human experiences are opportunities to cast desires that enrich your life and those of others. If you limit yourself to exploring only what has been created, you will lose satisfaction over time, feeling discouraged in the face of the uncontrollable. Your inner being understands this and knows the vibration of clarity, knowing which path offers the least resistance to help you find that clarity, from where you are your inner being, wants you to live fully in this world, facing the discomfort of things you cannot control, with the wisdom that negative emotion is a sign that there is greater alignment to be achieved with knowledge and tools to adjust your energy. You can align completely with everything that is allowing you to live without fear of losing yourself in the vastness of the world. You will find your full power, not just intellectually, but by feeling it moment to moment. Many people find themselves distant from their aspirations feeling as if it is a hard task to reach the desired satisfaction. But what I want you to understand is that it's about a simple vibrational adjustment, something within your reach, when you start seeking the satisfaction of simple alignment, allowing that satisfaction to be enough. For now, you begin a journey of transformation by maintaining a thought that brings you even the slightest sensation of contentment. The law of attraction begins to add momentum to that thought, building a vibrational frequency that over time brings not just emotions, but clear ideas, solutions, and the manifestation of your deepest desires. This thought that arises is so clear and pure that you cannot ignore it, and the satisfaction it provides is so intense that you know you are on the right path. Nothing will steer you away from this satisfaction because you understand that that you are preparing step by step and that for now is enough. Your friends may not understand questioning how you can feel satisfied when there is still a gap between what you desire and what is manifesting. The answer is simple. You adopt a different criterion. You guide yourself by vibrational awareness, by alignment, by attention to your emotional guidance system. You seek contentment and satisfaction, allowing these feelings to guide your path for you. Understand that by maintaining a positive thought, even briefly, the law of attraction adds strength to that thought, generating a sequence that eventually leads to the manifestation of your deepest desires. There is a subtle and delicate blessing that permeates the universe and flows through every living being. It is the energy of creation, the force that shapes the cosmos and gives rise to all forms of life. This energy is always present, always accessible to those who seek it, yet it can be challenging to tap into. When our minds are clouded by worry and anxiety, when we worry, we create a barrier between ourselves and this divine energy. Our thoughts become heavy and dense, losing touch with the subtle vibrations of the universe. We may feel isolated, cut off from the flow of life and uncertain about our place in the world. The illusion of individuality dissolves when we realize that we are part of something. Greater, we are all interconnected and our thoughts and emotions affect the world around us. Worrying is simply a misuse of our imagination, a way to create an illusion of a future we do not desire. Worry prevents us from gaining knowledge and hinders our progress. Moreover, worry is like a dark cloud that blocks the brightness of our potential and obstructs our ability to acquire knowledge and spiritual wisdom. It creates a negative energy that attracts negative outcomes in our direction. We are constantly creating our reality through the energy we emit. Our energetic vibrations attract outcomes, whether positive or negative. So it is important to emit positive energy to attract positive outcomes. It is crucial to pursue our goals without any worry or fear. We must have faith in the universe and trust that what is meant to happen will happen. And our thoughts and vibrations that create our reality acceptance teaches us to embrace uncertainty, knowing that in the grand scheme of things, each experience brings with it a lesson or a blessing. Confidence, on the other hand, is the firm belief that regardless of what happens, there will be an unfolding that somehow serves our growth and our greater good, and surrender is about letting go of the illusion that we have total control over life's events. 
It's recognizing that there is a greater force, a universal flow that guides us gently if we just allow it. Living with this mindset changes everything when we stop worrying about every little detail and start trusting more in the trajectory of life, we make room for joy and peace. One whose mind is burdened is never free from anxiety. We suffer from the false notion of being an individual and never ask ourselves why we worry. We cloak ourselves in the veil of anxiety and die of worry, but never stop to think why we should not worry at all. Even if we try to prevent the inevitable, it will happen. The sense of individuality creates a boundary around oneself, separating us from others and the great universe. This creates a feeling of isolation and disconnection from the rest of existence. In this state, we are unable to recognize the interconnection of all things and how our actions and thoughts impact the larger energy field. When we allow worry to consume us unjustifiably, it distorts our perception of reality, causing confusion in our senses and bodily functions that ultimately lead to unhappiness. When we worry, we are sending out signals of fear and anxiety, which attract more of the same into our lives. We are literally creating the very thing we are worried about. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Think of it this way. Imagine you are a radio station broadcasting your signal to the world. Firstly, it's important to recognize that worry represents resistance. By resisting the possibility of undesirable outcomes, we give them more power and energy. Instead, we should learn to surrender and have faith in the universe. Trust that everything is happening for our benefit, even if we can't see it at the moment. Believe that we are supported and guided by a caring universe that wants our success and have confidence in our ability to manifest the reality we desire. Worry is the great poison of caution. Do not let it consume you instead. Embrace the present moment and live your life to the fullest. By embracing this perspective, we begin to see worry as a sign that we are resisting the natural flow of life. You are not just an observer of life, you are an active creator of your reality. Choose wisely. The energies you nurture and watch your life transform in ways you never imagined possible, it is truly challenging not to feel hurt or disturbed when someone judges you. Sometimes you find yourself caught in a constant worry about what people will think of you. Emotional Stability Freedom, peace, and authentic relationships are found when you care less about things that truly do not matter upon waking in the morning. The first thoughts that come to your mind are uniquely yours. They are not burdened by social expectations or the judgments you believe others may have about you. Choose clothes that make you feel comfortable and confident, not those you believe you should wear to fit in or please someone else throughout your day. You express your ideas and truth without fear of reprisal, knowing that while not everyone may agree with you, your voice is your own and deserves to be heard. How liberating would that be? This freedom to be yourself is as nourishing for your soul as water is, essential for the body. It quenches a deep thirst within you that you might not have realized existed. Once you start drinking from this fountain of self-expression and self-acceptance, you will wonder how you ever lived any other way. This freedom is crucial because by being free to be yourself, you unlock a level of authenticity that would otherwise be difficult to achieve. You are not pretending to be someone you are not. Which is, by the way, exhausting you are not draining your energy, trying to maintain appearances, or fit into molds that were never meant for you. Instead, you are reinvesting that energy in yourself, nourishing your own dreams, and fostering your own growth. Stress and anxiety are two burdens many of us carry daily, often without even realizing how heavy they have become. The idea that you have to conform to external standards and expectations is like a cloud hovering over your head. These thoughts accumulate, and before you know it, they have filled your mind, leaving you overwhelmed and mentally exhausted by ceasing to care. Your patterns of thought begin to change. Your mind becomes clearer, allowing you to see situations for what they truly are rather than what you fear others think they are. This clarity offers a new perspective centered on your own thoughts and feelings, 
rather than those of the people around you. Discover that decision-making becomes simpler because you are now guided by your own intuition and sense of right and wrong. Not by fear of external judgment, the emotional impact of stress and anxiety is also considerably reduced when you free yourself from others' judgments. Your heart does not race every time you think someone might be critiquing you. The knots in your stomach begin to unravel as you stop replaying conversations in your head, imagining how you could have said things differently to please others. Physiologically, your body begins to relax, and this physical relaxation aids in mental clarity creating a positive feedback loop that promotes well-being. Furthermore, as stress and anxiety diminish your energy levels, increase, you are no longer wasting emotional and physical energy on unnecessary work. This newfound energy can now be directed toward constructive activities. No longer tethered to judgments or external expectations, you access an inner reserve of power. The source of your action shifts dramatically, moving from a place of obligation to one of true desire. This does not mean that you become indifferent or uninterested in others. It means that you act from a space of authenticity. There is a misconception that prioritizing yourself is an act of selfishness. This could not be further from the truth. Genuine self-love also enriches the lives of those around you. When your actions come from a place of self-respect and inner harmony, you become a more loving parent, a more supportive friend, a more engaged community member. You radiate positivity and uplift those you encounter. Establishing healthy boundaries is another benefit of not being ruled by what others think. These boundaries act as safeguards for your emotional well-being. They define what is acceptable behavior and what is not, delineating the contours of your own sacred space. This is an act of self-respect, a declaration to yourself and others that your well-being is valuable and deserves protection. It is through doubt and our openness to new possibilities that we begin to understand the true nature of the reality we thought we knew. Recognizing the infinite nature of reality is key to embracing the diversity of human experiences. Each perception of reality is shaped by unique experiences, beliefs, and values. This diversity explains why there can be a multitude of opinions and viewpoints on a single topic, and why the same event or situation can be interrupted in countless ways. Each belief and practice is valid in its own way, and it's up to each person to find what resonates with them. When we approach divergent viewpoints with an open mind and respect, we learn that multiple realities can coexist simultaneously. This concept can be applied to all aspects of life. People have different opinions about food, music, art, and even spirituality. No two people have identical beliefs or experiences, resulting in unique interpretations of the world. The diversity of perspectives is what makes the world so interesting and dynamic. The realities we perceive are infinite because the same reality can be interpreted in countless ways. However, this diversity can also lead to conflicts when people believe that their perception of reality is the only valid one and expect others to share the same view. The key to avoiding such conflicts is to recognize that everyone's perception of reality is valid and unique and to approach different perspectives with an open mind and heart. No one holds the absolute truth about the world, and we can all learn from each other's perspectives. Those who understand the infinite reality of this multiverse realize that each person is living their own unique experience. They do not engage in unnecessary conflicts because they recognize that everyone harbors their own realities and learn to respect them, even if they do not agree with them. This level of understanding requires a heightened awareness which allows us to interpret reality from multiple perspectives and understand that there is no single correct way to see things. Some people are even willing to fight and even sacrifice their lives to defend their beliefs and perceptions of reality. However, when we recognize that we all come from the same divine energy and that our individual realities are just one facet of the infinite reality of this multiverse, we begin to see the world in a new light. 
We originate from the same source of consciousness, and each of us is a unique expression of that oneness. Our distinct personalities, preferences, and experiences add richness and diversity to our world instead of allowing these differences to divide us. And inside conflicts, we can use them as sources of inspiration. Doubting everything we thought we knew is the first step towards awakening and expanding our consciousness. We are all interconnected in the web of life, each possessing unique perspectives that enrich our collective experience. We should observe these differences and draw inspiration from them while remaining true to ourselves. Choosing authenticity means living life on your own terms at your own pace when someone says, you are too young, too old, or too different. Don't argue. Don't defend yourself. Let them have their judgment. Perhaps you really are too young or too old, or you will never seem right to them. That's okay, because everyone has their own perspective. Accept their perspective and understand that it changes nothing about who you essentially are as a person. You remain whole neither too little nor too much, exactly where you need to be at this moment choosing. Yourself means honoring your own perspective and making decisions based on what feels right for you instead of conforming to others' expectations. As we expand our understanding of reality, we also expand our empathy and compassion for others. We go against the natural course as soon as we try to force things. Forcing means interfering with or even opposing nature, which only brings about trouble in many of today's societies we see ourselves continually forcing our way through life. We not only seek to alter nature to our liking, but also to control things over which we essentially have no control, such as fate and external circumstances. We're obsessed with control nature takes care of itself, and that without interference everything gets done. Also, we can notice how obsessed we are with finding happiness in the external world, and that our efforts to achieve it, along with our clinging to external circumstances, make us miserable. We're unwilling to let go of our restless pursuits of happiness, which is precisely why we aren't happy in reality. Our efforts not to be unhappy generate anxiety. We ought to let go of existing. Concepts and worldviews become aware of emptiness. Let nature take its course and move with nature, rather than against it. Leave things alone, allowing them to run their natural course, and saw things flourish around him in many present-day cultures obsessed with achievement and productivity. Doing nothing is considered a sin. We don't allow ourselves to do nothing as we should always be busy. We prefer to work against nature rather than not work at all, even if our efforts only interfere with what we try to achieve, stop looking for happiness. People are stressed and always in a rush in their obsessive search for happiness. Their faces look tired and grim. If the chase for happiness makes our lives bleak, we might as well stop it. We not only exhaust ourselves, we also don't get what we're looking for, thus ending up in a lose-lose situation. See? The emptiness. We're less stressed when empty of all these attachments. We'll have fewer things to worry about if we didn't care so much about other people's approval and validation. We seek to receive credit for things that aren't entirely our own doing. Many things people praise us for depend on the right circumstances or inborn characteristics instead of worrying about obtaining praise that ultimately doesn't belong to anyone quiet down and let go. Seeing the emptiness of things can help us cultivate stillness and peace of mind.